of England's proudest vehicles, the Range Rover, is all new for 2022, and I've been behind the wheel of this, a P530 short wheelbase in first edition trim. The styling may be slightly evolved, but it hides an interior that's a huge improvement over its predecessor, once again putting the Range Rover near the top of the heap in terms of luxury SUVs. It might cost a lot of money, but in some ways it's a bargain considering you get Rolls Royce quality for half the price. Before we go any further, be sure to subscribe to the Motor One YouTube channel and find us on all of your favorite social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. Now let's take a spin. From the front and the side, this is very much a Range Rover, with a design that feels familiar in spite of some smoothing out that gives it a little bit more modern sophistication and better aerodynamics. New this year, however, is this U-shaped fender vent motif. It's a polarizing design cue that I actually like, and it's intended to recall the functional fender vents of Range Rovers of the past. Yet another element pulled from Range Rover's history are the blacked out roof panels. Range Rover was doing floating roofs way back in the 60s, well before anyone else was, and it looks just as good here as it does on those historic models. Every first edition comes in satin sunset gold metallic, a beautiful color that looks amazing under any light. My tester also comes with the contrasting shadow exterior pack, which brings a gloss black roof panel, gloss black mirror caps, gloss black body accents, and gloss black Range Rover badging front and rear. As familiar as the rest of the vehicle feels, the rear end really sets apart this Range Rover from its predecessors, with this unusual gloss black ring around the back that definitely takes some getting used to. I wasn't a huge fan of it at first, but I have started to come around a little bit, and I do love how it hides the taillights behind this slick, disappearing gloss black motif. It's definitely very avant-garde, and it helps the Range Rover kind of appeal to a more modern audience. In the past, Range Rovers have always been pretty stylish, but they have been just a little bit stodgy and old fashioned. That's not true of this model at all. However, there are some pretty cool vintage touches, including a split folding power operated tailgate, and Range Rover really knows its clientele very well because they've included a little picnic chair right here that you can set up when you're ready to uh, enjoy a good game of polo or something like that. Let me just show you how it works. And there you have it. Like the exterior, the new Range Rover's cabin is a blend of heritage design cues and a healthy dose of modernity, showing up in the 13.1 inch Pivi Pro infotainment system and 13.7 inch digital instrument cluster, both of which are reconfigurable to your specific needs. The design is also open and airy and spacious and the materials are absolutely top notch, from this matte finished wood trim on the center console to the genuine leather headliner. I can't remember the last time I was in a vehicle with a leather headliner and you'd be surprised at how much it elevates the experience. Between the two, there's just tons of soft touch materials everywhere and there's not a lot of unattractive gloss black plastic to detract from the experience. It looks good, it feels good, it's just a very impressive luxury vehicle. And then these front seats are absolutely fantastic. They adjust down to the last millimeter to ensure that it fits your particular body perfectly for long haul comfort. As nice as the front seat is, the rear seats of the first edition are the place to be. There's tons of space even in this short wheelbase model, and as you can see it offers seating for up to five, which is perfect if you need to carry your family along with you. But when it's time to get really fancy and you're just bringing another couple along for a date night, check this out. This electrically operated center armrest turns this thing into an executive transport for four people. And that's not all. If you really wanna make sure that you're treating your passengers right, check this. Passenger seat folds out of the way. An ottoman deploys from the floor there. and I'm ready for some premium long distance grand touring comfort. Now you're probably most curious about how the new Range Rover drives, and I can say with almost 100% certainty that as soon as you slip behind the steering wheel, you are not gonna be disappointed. Under the hood of this particular vehicle is a BMW sourced 4.4 liter twin turbocharged V8 with 523 horsepower and 553 pound feet of torque. And it feels very Bavarian in its power delivery as well. There's a slight amount of lag at the very low end of the rev range, but as soon as you get past that, you're just met with this ground swell of torque that shoves you in the back all the way up to the red line. It's perfect for merging onto a busy freeway or turning right into traffic or passing on a two lane road, or if you just wanna impress your friends that are relaxing in the back seat. 
Ride comfort is another incredible strength of this vehicle. We're driving on kind of a rutted coastal road and you'd never know it, you'd think it was a pane of glass. And that's in spite of this first edition model's 23 inch wheels. The only minor drawback, and I'm really grasping at straws here, is that there is a slight amount of wind noise that makes its way past the A-pillars once you've approached freeway speeds. And the only reason you notice it is because you're not distracted by anything else. This car keeps you so insulated from the outside world. It's a bummer that you do have that wind noise, especially considering this vehicle's very luxurious premium positioning, but at the same time, it doesn't really detract from the experience because everything else about the Range Rover is so comfortable and so posh. In terms of performance, Land Rover has included some lightweight material to try and compensate for this vehicle's incredible luxury quotient, but you just can't make up for the added weight and complexity that comes with all of the luxury on board the new Range Rover. That means this car has a curb weight of well over 5,500 pounds, which definitely makes its presence known when you're throwing this thing into a corner. That's why it's kind of funny that Land Rover also includes a uh, race dynamic setting for this car that has a stopwatch and a lap timer. I really don't think you're gonna be taking your Range Rover down Laguna Seca anytime soon, but if you are, more power to you. Ultimately, this isn't a performance SUV. It's just a very comfortable and impressive vehicle that can waft you down the freeway at very high speeds and in very high comfort. I will say that even though the Range Rover isn't necessarily much of a sporty handler, it's actually pretty nimble given how large and comfortable it is, thanks to rear axle steering and a four corner air suspension that's also height adjustable for off-road adventures. It's kind of a jack of all trades if you think about it, and that's pretty cool for a luxury car. As equipped, this particular Range Rover costs $169,000, which is undeniably a huge sum of money. But if any vehicle could be considered a good value at that price, this is it. Think about it, you could get a very well-specced S-Class for about the same cash, and you'd get a beautiful interior, a very well-crafted luxury driving experience, and a fantastic rear seat, just like you get in this. But you wouldn't have more than 40 cubic feet of cargo space, nor would you have those cool picnic chairs or any off-road capability like the Range Rover offers. You could also spend more than double the cash on a Rolls-Royce Cullinan, but I don't think you'd be getting double the experience for that extra investment. Whether you want a spacious, rugged SUV or a high-speed luxury GT car, the Range Rover has you covered. Thanks for watching.